Hey, dude, this Blazer Project. Nah, yeah, no, it's been about a month since my last video, but needless to say, the month of December gets kind of funky here in Kansas. Mainly with work going into high gear when it's supposed to be the slow season, them days off getting all weird and everything. So I decided to basically take the month off. So, yeah, that's what happened. And also the brutal cold that hit was not fun but we're gonna get workhorse out today right here and do something about the brakes that's been always been a pain in my rear end now I'm not gonna start it up I'm gonna grab it and just push it over there but first I want to see if it freaking runs it's been a while since I've started this thing so okay batteries got good voltage Pull the choke out. That's promising. Okay, solenoid's working. Pump the gas a few times. There's something. Okay, pump the gas again. There we go. Of course, the battery's probably getting weak now. Then again, it's sat out here freaking. There she goes. I may just limp it over here. But we're gonna move the brakes today and make another brake pedal basically. Now another YouTuber did this. I'm copying him, but I'm doing it on my way. Got another brake lever. Carburetor return springs. Trust me. I know dad will kill me if I get into the uh, others. And then plenty of brake cable. So there's that. Oh, and this, considering where I live, I owe the people at Spokes and Things in Arc City a big thank you. So shout out to them. I'm not sponsored by them. I bought this stuff there with my own money. I got the receipts and everything. So that's that. Sounds like workhorse is starting to even out. I've got to get a few other things and then I'll get workhorse moved over here. So, back in a moment. Okay, I have to do some massaging and everything. Got the brake handle mounted. Had decided to drill self tap because I had no extra pipe. Goes on through. That thing ain't going anywhere. Got the brake line ran. It's gonna run this way. Now with this, brake lever goes back that way so that's why it's ran this to here I'm gonna put a piece of angle right here with a little union or whatever you call this to keep the cable from moving now I can actuate this all the time all the time I want through a bolt I've got a custom make and then with the carb springs because I got an assortment I gotta run a spring to somewhere on the frame. That way it has a return. Excuse me. But I've gotta keep it sitting basically right there until it is actuated because that is basically neutral as far as the brakes go. So I can spin this all the time, but pull back, brakes are actuated. However, I got the adjustment nut set where I want. I got to get another nut or two here to press against this to make sure it doesn't move again. I may loosen it up or may not. I don't know. But that's how that's going to work. And then hopefully I'll have brakes again. But 
on this Craftsman, this is where you adjust your brake pressure. I didn't realize that until another YouTuber helped me figure that out. So I'm going to get to work, come up with what I can, and I'll show you the end result. Alright, she's set up. So brake lever here, springs right back. And I get it ran like that for now. I'll zip tie it up out of the way. But you see when I press, brake activates automatically. So, and the spring just helps put it back to neutral, which is awesome. Let me see if I can't get this tire on. Sit you guys down for a moment. I should have brought the tripod up. Sorry. Sun's going down. It's starting to get cold and food's done in the house. And my truck is not where it's supposed to be, so bear with me. There we go. Okay. It's on. Bingo. Just like that. That ought to be stopping a lot better now, and I can actually concentrate on the clutch and so forth. So I'm going to shut you off, get this put back together, the battery back in, and go get the tripod and we'll wrap this up. So, be back in a moment. Yeah, I'm ending this in the garage because took the mower out for a quick romp. Excellent on the brakes, but I forgot to put the battery roll down on, so didn't do much of that. I got to do some adjustment on the clutch and get that squared away but now it shifts a lot into gear a lot easier which is awesome so that's a plus got a neighbor outside right now mowing his yard i have no idea why i mean it's freaking winter time you don't basically mow unless you're mulching up leaves and sticks and doing it that way so maybe what he's doing i don't know but workhorse is going to be the primary war focus on and then the dump trailer is going to come back i'm going to get the dump mechanism redone that bottle jack is going to come off it's going to get a proper hand jack hydraulic i don't know which it's whatever i can afford so that's all going to come around and get done and then we're going to get on the flatbed and get that knocked out because come springtime it's going to, workhorse is going to get to see some serious work. We got to gravel the drive and so forth. So that's a lot of trips down to the river. If I can find a spot to get down there. So we'll see. Blazer will be coming back. Trust me, I know. But the tent building I wanted to build, I'm not going to let those posts go to waste. They're going to be built into sandblasting booth, painting, or whatever the heck I want. But I have another suggestion for my family that involves three cattle panels and just a plastic roof, basically. So that's what's going to happen over there. But the blazer will be coming back as soon as weather improves and it gets a little warmer. So it's on hold until spring, summer, or sprunger, if you want to call it that, depending on what the season decides to do. But as soon as I get the materials for that it's getting built but I've got to find a way to heat it but for the most part it's on hold for the entire winter so that sucks but then again I had dual boxes transfer case to go shit on me which I'm still paying so that's that as far as updates go that's what's going on I'll catch you all later on the flip side but nice little brake mod on workhorse works awesome and I showed you just basic tools and stuff you can buy in town if you want just a little imagination and there you go so i'll talk to y'all later like subscribe comment and i'll talk to y'all next time peace out